Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you are new here. Thank you for joining me. Um, my name is Vicky and I film all sorts of mum, food, lifestyle, toddler mum life hauls. Um, so I, if that's the type of content you'd like to watch, then please, please subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate if, um, to have you stick around. So today's video is going to be a grocery shop and meal plan video. And I'm going to show you my shopping list before I go. I usually try and plan out the meals for the week on a Sunday, which is today, and do a shopping list. And I'll show you how I do it. And also I'll show you the meals that I'm planning on making. Later on, we're going to go to Lidl and pick up everything that we can possibly get from the shop unless we might have to nip to Al Asda as well um, if we can't get everything in Lidl. The time that we're going to be arriving in Lidl will be closer to 5pm and sometimes we do find the shelves can be quite empty by that point. So um, we might not, we might not get everything. So here is my shopping list. So I try and split it up based on kind of, well, we've got produce here. As you walk into Lidl, you always come to the produce first. So I've got that there and then tins and shelves stuff down here. Then I've got onto the fridge stuff, the meats, the yogurts, the milks and things, and then the bakery aisle here. So that's the the way that I kind of set out the list and take with me. And I find it easy just to, to have it in these categories because we know when you're going to Lidl, you've got produce and then you've got fridges and then you kind of, it's, it's set out in that sort of a way. I always just find that the easiest way to do things. So for the meal plan, I've roughly planned out breakfast, lunches and dinners for the week. So this doesn't really include toddler breakfast and lunches. This is mostly just for me. So I've not planned like specific days for breakfast. I've just kind of got a, like here's three examples that I could kind of recycle over the week. So I've got yogurt and muesli with fruit baked oats and eggs on toast so that's kind of the three main breakfasts that i would have kind of over the the week lunches for me i'm going to utilize the air fryer this week and i'm going to make chicken chorizo and jalapeno wraps so i'm going to try and get a jar of jalapenos and that's going to be for monday and tuesday i'm going to do buffalo chicken and cheese wraps on the wednesday those are all work from home days so those should be relatively quick and simple to do i've got some cooked chicken in the freezer that i just need to defrost so that should be pretty simple um next up on thursday i'm going to just do a chicken and bacon and salad wrap i'll have lots of lettuce and tomatoes then um, because we're going to have some left over from dinners and then on friday i've put question mark question mark eggs on toast so it, it, thursday friday because i those are my non-working days um it's just easier just to kind of wing it on those days so the big important thing that you've probably all been waiting for is what dinners are we going to be making this week so this week i'm going to do three slow cooker meals and two air fryer meals so the first slow cooker meal on monday is going to be mango chicken curry on tuesday another slow cooker will be tex-mex chicken pasta um, and i'm going to do sour cream and guacamole as well on the side which i think will be lovely it might only be me that well it will probably only be me that eats the guacamole and the sour cream but it's, it's good wednesday slow cooker chili con carne i'm going to get some chorizo and dark chocolate and put that in as well thursday is uh i'm just going to do chicken burgers on brioche buns but i'm going to use chicken breast probably put some bacon lettuce tomato and barbecue sauce sounds really good and then I've got a, I'm going to put some potatoes on my list to make some homemade chips as well then Friday is an air fryer one and it's going to be the doner kebab so I've seen this on follow a group on Facebook that is air fryer meals and um, air fryer group ninja jewel drawer and there's lots of recipes on there and lots of people in there have been making the doner kebabs so it's made out of I think it's lamb mince but it's like the leaner lamb mince so we'll try that and then we'll put it in wraps with lettuce and tomato. I've been using a lot of lettuce and tomato this week. So that's what we're going to do. Snack wise, I've not planned much out. I am going to get some toddler snack stuff. So I'll add those to the list, um, which is going to be ever expanded. I think I'm going to run out of space on this page um, for snacks. 
but the idea this week for me is to try and make more fill-in decent breakfast lunches and dinners and have smaller snacks rather than the continuous snacking that I usually do um, especially when working from home so that's the plan so I will catch up with you later on and show you everything that we do buy in Lidl but that is the plan for the meals for this week if you like I could film me making them and what they turn out like if you'd be interested to see that please let me know in the comments if you do want to see that and if you'd like to see any other types of videos from me so i will leave you there with my grocery haul coming up in the next clip so that's us just back from Lidl's. So we got pretty much everything that we needed just from Lidl's alone, which was super handy. We did pop to Asda for a couple for three extra bits, which I'll show you on the end. But in Lidl, we only spent 47, 37, I think it was. And considering about at least five pound of that was on like crisps and chocolate, um, thought that was pretty good going. So really about £42 for the weekly shop. We don't have a ton of meat. We couldn't get the minced lamb for the doner kebab, air fryer doner kebab that I planned for one of the nights. So we'll have to either change that recipe to something else or buy that somewhere else. But here is everything that we got in Lidl first. So starting with the, the treats, I suppose, um, we got the Walker's Crisp because the Snack Right ones or whatever it is that Lidl and Aldi do just don't, they just don't cut it. They're just not as good as these ones. So we just, these were £3 for the 12 packs, which obviously added on to what we spent. I got some cheesy lentil puffs for my little girl. She's a little obsessed with Peppa Pig at the moment, so she'll really like those. We got ourselves, these I think were one twenty-five pounds each, um, but you can't beat a little Easter egg on a Sunday night um, at Easter time, so we got got them for watching a film tonight. We're going to watch the new Luther film and have these. I got milk bars of milk chocolate. These are to make crispy cakes later on, um, probably on Tuesday afternoon or Thursday. So we're going to use that chocolate for them. So moving on to the actual food, we've got cornflakes. These are, I just got the little ones because I'm going to do cornflake chicken one night possibly or m some sort of cornflake chicken thing. Um, I got some oat milk for me. I like this in my coffees. We got some chopped tomatoes. I think we need two this week, but we've got one already in the cupboard. So I just picked up one of those. Some smooth peanut butter. I always get the 100% peanut ones. And the Aldi, Lidl, Asda, the, all the own bread ones are absolutely fine. So we got some of them, some of them. Um, I got some sliced green jalapenos. I've only just started to like jalapenos in the last couple of weeks, I think. Um, so I'm excited to make a chicken chorizo and jalapeno wrap with mozzarella tomorrow for lunch. The red kidney beans are for the chilli con carne through the week in the slow cooker. And I just picked up six eggs because we've already still got some from last week. So moving on to the fruit and veg. Got a bag of salad instead of lettuce. Um, this was on offer, I think it was like 60p in the, the pick of the week. Got two banana, two packs of bananas. I've got the ones that you can't really tell in this film um, because the lighting in the kitchen, but these ones are a little bit more ripe than these ones. So I always go for a mix so that these ones are ready to eat first. And if there's ever any left, I can always make banana muffins or something. I got one mango because I'm going to do a chicken and mango curry in the slow cooker tomorrow. So cutting up mango is always a total pain, but it's so much cheaper to buy it like as a whole mango than pre-cut. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. Got some garlic bulbs and some fresh ginger. There's two recipes at least this week that use ginger and I think three or four use garlic, so they'll definitely get used. Got a lime for one of the recipes that we need and I've got an avocado to make guacamole with the Tex-Mex pasta bake that I'm going to do on Tuesday. Some salad tomatoes, I'll have these in wraps and with the chicken burger that I'm going to do on Thursday night. And peppers, now these... These used to come in a bag of three. Imagine in that, these were always three and these are huge. So they've obviously cut down the number and um, just given bigger ones because they were all like this in the shop today. So we've got them. So moving on to the fridgy bits. I've got a large pack of chicken. Hopefully this will do us two meals at least. Um, we'll definitely do chicken burgers one night. So there's two bits gone um, my little one will only have like a tiny bit of each of ours she's not a massive fan of 
dinners <laughs> um, and then mango chicken curry I think will be the other meal so that should be enough to do us got mozzarella that's for my wraps for lunches diced beef that is for must be the chili con carne and a chorizo ring um, I put that in everything so um, but it's for lunches and the chili big big pot of Greek yogurt the little one is really really good so then I've got some hot peri peri sauce I couldn't resist and also sriracha chili mayo sauce so I thought with wraps in the air fryer to put um, some sort of like chicken gouge on with lettuce and tomato and either of these would be lovely so I got I got them both um, bready kind of cupboardy bits other things I got eight mini plain tortilla wraps these will do my lunches when I do the jalapeno thing got penny pasta that's for Tuesday night's dinner the Tex Mix chicken pasta poppadoms to go with the mango curry got big bag of potatoes I like to make my own chips and air fry them um, so I got them to do that with Boil in the bag of rice, we always use this, it always comes out really nice and fluffy and we just got a bread. Bread never lasts very long in this house. Um, from last week, we still have apples and tangerines, so we're fine fruit wise other than that. So that is everything that I picked up from Lidl. So we spent £3.60 in Asda. Um, we couldn't get the any sort of frosted flakes in Lidl, so my husband always likes to have these for breakfast. Um, there was no smooth, he's the fussy one, there's no smooth yogurts in Lidl so we got these from Asda for him and the brioche buns are for the chicken burgers that I'm going to make on Thursday evening. And that's it, so all in it was just over £50 and I think we did really well, I think we got quite a lot. It would have been good to have a little, maybe a bit more meat in here but I think we did good. So I'm going to put this all away now and I'll show you kind of me preparing all the meals for the week. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it and um, please let me know what you thought of it um, in the comments. So I will film, as I said, I'll film some of the meals that I'm making this week and let you see what they look like. And I will catch you in another video. So thanks again for watching and please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. I'll speak to you again soon. Ta-ta.